Okay then, so today I'm going to be showing you how to change or upgrade your Steam Deck SSD M2 drive. So I'm going to be taking out a 64 gigabyte SSD out of this one and then simply replacing it with a brand new integral one terabyte. So just like most people, if you can only get hold of a 64 gigabyte, which is the cheapest option for the Steam Deck, it's a real pain. So we've got no space in there. And so hence why people want to upgrade it with these marvelous things, which are one terabyte, 1000 gigabyte, awesome stuff. So in this setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to open this correctly, how to install the new SSD M2, and also how to reinstall SteamOS on it. So check this one out. <laughs> So first thing we're going to need to do is put this into battery mode as recommended by Valve. So what we're going to do to do this is hold down the up on the volume and we're going to press down on the power button. And there we go, we're now into this mode. Okay, so if we use the pad on the right, we can then use this to move our cursor around and we can press A to select setup utility. And then from here, we're gonna just go down again where it says power and then press A to enter this. And then this time I'm actually gonna use a D-pad. So I'm gonna to go to battery storage mode and press A. And then it's gonna come up with system will be powered down if you select yes, do you want to proceed? Just press yes on this and followed by the A button. And that's gonna to totally turn off your Steam Deck and put this into battery mode. So next thing we need to do is actually turn this over and we've got many screws on the back here. So for this, I'm using a very tiny little screwdriver and I'm gonna go and open each one of these. So we're gonna have eight in total. So we got two on each side and we got a few in the middle. So this should be a little bit time consuming. And before levering out the back side of the case, what I'm going to do is just take out my micro SD card. If you leave this one in there whilst unloading the case, your SD card is likely going to snap. So just make sure to take that one out. And what we're going to do next is just gently lever out using something like I've got just here. And we've looks like a metal plectrum. But just dig this inside of the sides. And if you just gently pull this out, you'll find the first side just opens up. There we go, as we can see, things are now gently opened up. And if I just use this little tool again, which I've got to do this with. And there we go. So this is the internals of the Steam Deck. Okay, so this is the main board, as we can see, and there's a couple of different versions of the insides of a Steam Deck. So first thing we need to do is there's a little piece of sticky foil just here, electrical tape. If we just gently remove this, and it's gonna expose a screw. Okay, right in the corner at the top left just here, there's a tiny little screw that we also need to unscrew. And just go very careful with these screws because you don't want to lose them, they're very small. We've also got one in the bottom left of the shield, which is here. And there's another screw to take out on the bottom right. And finally, where we just removed that electrical tape just there, that metal tape, we're just going to take that screw out as well, which is a little bit tight, but it will come out. Now, if you find you can't actually undo this screw and it's beginning to just turn into a mess, uh, we can actually do this by very gently wedging up the shields just here, just very slightly, just don't bend it. And this is gonna show us where the M2 drive is, just here covered in foils. Okay, so as we can see, this is an M2 drive and it's got a little screw on it. What we're gonna do is just unscrew that and it's gonna gently lever up the area So if you can see, this area is actually now raising. Okay, and that's that out. So what we're gonna do now 
it's just released the M2 out of here, just like that. Next thing we need to do is, if you don't have shielding around your new M2, then we need to just gently take off this shielding around this. So this is my brand new Integral 1 terabyte. And if I just open this, so as we can see, this is my new SSD M2. And we don't have any shielding on this, so we are gonna have to remove the shielding very gently off of the original 64 gigabyte. So I've got a little blaze just here, and what I'm gonna do is just very gently just take this off to reapply it to my new drive. Obviously, don't press down too hard because if you're looking at reselling your old drive, then it's obviously gonna be broken if you dig in too deep to this. And once you slice through there just very gently, normally these will just slide off just like that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this one in the same positioning as it just came off of. So here's my new M2. And what I'm gonna do is just make sure that's exactly the same. And then I'm gonna just push this one very gently back inside. And there we go. So I'm now gonna take that drive that I've just reapplied the shield into, and I'm gonna just gently press that back into place on the steam deck. So not too much pressure on this because you don't want to damage the edge connectors on it. And what you're gonna do is just very gently just push this down and screw back in the screw which you've just taken out. So just very gently with this because things are very delicate. So once that's screwed back in, we're then gonna push down the shield again and just reapply those screws which are just taken out. So what I'm gonna do now is just put the screws back into place which I've just taken out on the shield in. Now I'm gonna just pop over that tape again. And we've also got the screw which came in to the right just here. And once all those screws are screwed back in, we're just gonna gently put on the back of the Steam Deck. And obviously we're gonna to need to reapply those screws again. So we got eight of these in total. Okay, so once you've screwed your Steam Deck back up, what we're gonna do is jump on our laptop like I'm doing so now. And we're just gonna go over to this Steam website. I'll leave the link in my description for this. And if we just check on buy select in the box so left you agree to the terms of this steam and user license you can then left click on download steam os deck image and that's going to take a couple of minutes to download while that is downloading we're going to go to another website called rufus and rufus is going to allow us to flash our steam os image onto usb device so we're going to quickly download that lock so the link's going to be in my description if i just go down to the portable version of this for windows 64 and while those are downloading we need to format the usb drive we're going to be flashing the image to to a fat 32 drive so to do this just plug in your usb right click on the drive you put in and we're going to go to format and like I say, this needs to be on FAT32. So once you've done that, we can give it a volume name if you wish, just Steam OS will be fine. And start, and okay. So this device which I plugged in to flash the image onto is now in FAT32 format. Okay, so once you've downloaded the image and you've downloaded Rufus in Flash or USB device to FAT32, we're going to start this. So first of all, under device, we need to select the USB device that you just formatted. In my case, my device name is Steam OS and it's D drive and it's a 16 gig. So just make sure you've got the correct device. Under boot selection, we're going to leave it to disk or ISO image. If we go to select, we can then select the Steam Deck repair image that we just downloaded. Uh, partition scheme needs to be in GPT and just ensure that file system definitely says FAT32. Uh, once this is all checked, we can then press start and OK. And it's then going to start writing the image onto your USB drive. So this can take a few minutes.
Okay, and once that process has been finished, we can just go to close and shut down the computer and remove the USB drive in order to put it into the Steam Deck. Okay, so back over at the Steam Deck, I've got one of these to attach my USB stick to, so I'm going to just plug this in and then put that in the back of my Steam Deck. And then again, we need to go into that BIOS mode. So if we hold down the volume up button and just press on the power button together, Next up, we're just going to go over to Boot Manager and select that. And we're going to select our USB device, USB. Okay, so this should now take you to your desktop. And what we're going to do is just push on Reimage Steam Deck. And we're going to press on Proceed. And once this is finished, we're going to get a little window pop up and we're going to press proceed on this. And that's going to just reboot your Steam Deck. And then we can go through the initial installation process for this. And that's all there is to it. So that's my Steam Deck upgraded from 64 gigabyte up to one terabyte. So I can now go to the Steam store and actually download some big games, which I've been wanting to do all year pretty much or since I've had my Steam Deck. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. Thank <laughs> you.